What's my optimistic view for the future? I mean, I'm an optimistic person. It just depends on what we're talking about. I think we are not done dealing with negative outcomes for the current cycle. We embedded a bunch of excess into the markets and the economy in the buildup to COVID. And then when what, with what we did in response to COVID, it just made it worse. Everything from the GFC until 2020 was then exacerbated by the response to, to COVID itself. And we haven't paid for all of that yet. Paid for in quotes. And so I think that the, the market has some more churn to work through and negative outcomes over the next year, year and a half. Um, I don't know you know, how long that takes, but I'm, I never doubt human ingenuity and human survivability. We're, we're like cockroaches. We are impossible to kill, you know, and necessity is the mother of invention. After GFC, the monetary authorities, they did everything in their power to dampen volatility not just in the markets, but what that does is it dampens volatility socially and politically and culturally. It tamps it down. And the the way that we go about engineering new change in society is through crisis. That's just the truth of it, right? It's through stress and through the efforts to artificially tamp down the natural volatility in markets, in a capitalist system, because we expect there to be so much fairness. We tamp those things down. We go, we, we vote in policies that try to tamp down those things. And we encourage government spending that tamps down those things because, you know, in the short term, it makes our lives feel a little bit better. It makes us feel like we dodged, dodged a bullet, but we can only carry that on for so long. And I think that because of the pandemic and the volatility it created, and then the excess reactions to that volatility, they've disrupted the apple cart. And so we cannot just continue tamping down volatility the way that we did from 2010 to 2019. The surface of the water is too choppy, right? It's going to take a while for it to calm down. I think we're still going through that. And I think that it'll take the process of this decade Because that's what usually happens when we go through a period of intense change. It takes years. It's not something that happens in a a single calendar year. It's not something that happens in two quarters, right? It's a multi-year process. Look at the 1930s and early 40s. That was a period of intense global change. And it took almost two decades to play out. So that's what I'm mentally prepared for. It doesn't mean that it's an all negative thing. It just means that what we just left, I don't think is going to resemble what we're heading into. I think it's unlikely. The factors just aren't there, right? That we're we're cooking with different ingredients now. We can't expect to make the same meal. 